everyone, it's lunchtime! lunchtime! Today we're going to talk about Dreamwell. It's a game designed by Nick Little, featuring the art of Tara McPherson, published by Action Phase Games. It plays in about 45 minutes for ages 14 and up in uh, two to four players. So in Dreamwell, you're trying to help your, your friends escape the Dreamwell. The objective is to complete seven of your friend cards, and you do this by taking various actions like moving, turning a tile, you can also move off the board. You also want to be able to complete these friend cards because you gain special powers by doing so, which will help you win the game. So there are various ways to play. You can play the regular, regular way, <laughs> or you can play with the advanced variant or the nightmare variant. Both are excellent options, but for a lunchtime, you want to stick with, stick with normal play mode. I love the art in this game. Oh my gosh. It's, you know, you think it's kind of for a kid when you look at it, but some of it has a little, kind of a little bit of a darker look to <laughs> it, but not scary, scary. I'm yeah. the girl. But it's, it's nice because I like how you have to sometimes flip the tile, rotate the tile. There's a couple of different ways you have to manage how you move around the board. So it's a small board, but right. so much you can do to try to, to get your objectives done. So it's great. I really enjoyed the choices that the, care, the, the players had in order to you know take their actions. Uh, the art is fantastic. Um, and yeah, it plays pretty quick. I, I really enjoyed this game. Yeah, so definitely if you have a shorter lunch break, I would definitely stick to what we said before, the normal mode. But if you do have that extended time, you can definitely try the advanced or the nightmare variant. But it's a little difficult because you can actually flip tiles where it changes the type of illustration that's on there. And you're trying to finish your objective card, so you're looking, you're like, oh my gosh, it doesn't match now because someone's flipped and, you know, screwed me up a little bit. So it definitely makes it a little bit more difficult. So mm -hmm. really liked the art on this game. Really enjoyed the puzzly aspect of this game. So I would definitely, well... I own it. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to playing it again. What about you guys? Well, we're going to be owning it hopefully very soon. So. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely one we'll put out, pull out again at lunchtime. Definitely. So that's it for now. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.